When I made the move from Kentucky to Austin, it only seemed fitting that Puffin came along for the journey. My heart's been over driving, you're behind the steering wheel. I mean, he's been an integral part of my life, and only an ungrateful wretch will forget the ties that bind the tendrils of her heart to her past. <laughs> What are you not you're not gonna get that? Bum 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 Ha 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 ba 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 Skit 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 skulu do 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 ba 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 da da Skulu do 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 First it was kind of cute, then it was kind of weird, now it's just kind of creepy. Uh, I mean, everywhere she goes, it goes, and sometimes I'm not sure if I'm talking to Katie or the Puffin. I was a little concerned at first, but I mean, we all have our comfort animals, don't we? I have Harry, he's great. I take him to the movies with me when I don't have a friend to go with, and sometimes I take him to eat with me. He, he, he's my best friend. I, I just say I love him so much. What we are seeing here is a very primal emotional attachment to an arctic creature. This is very common for the ginger kind. I can cite for you an example. Santa Claus and his eight shiny reindeer or Ron Howard and his affinity for narwhals. I guess it's a little strange, but it doesn't really interfere with her everyday life because Katie's so well-rounded. Well, I've tried to convince her to get a real pet, like a bunny, like bunny. Um, but she's convinced that Sergeant Puffins is real. <clears throat> yeah, it's completely unacceptable. Anyone with an unhealthy attachment like that needs professional help.